those that are heavily steampunk influenced. Those of you who are unfamiliar with steampunk, it all can be summed up by one little phrase. Space, 1888. <laughs> the only thing about traveling through space in 1888 is that certain principles are required. And unfortunately, neither Albert Einstein nor Stephen Hawking had expressed those principles just quite yet. Oh, well, lots of folks on Earth, they say, are leaving home every day. Heading out for the Milky Way, where the stars do shine. Oh, across the intergalactic void, with a spaceship and a droid. They think the time like they'll avoid, and this is what they find. That the laws of physics are immutable. And you cannot break that space-time barrier. Looking for wormholes in outer space and sugar bowls To head to other planets in the twinkling of an eye Oh, but they won't get there in a car An ocean liner won't go far And so they sit there in a bar and let the lights go by Cause the event horizon's far away And you won't get there even if you leave today Galaxy is full of wonder, a place where every spaceman can be free. Oh, but no matter who you are, you won't get very far if you ain't got the rocket tree. Thank you, thank you. All right, now. Somebody just, uh, somebody just read some of the names of the songs on my CDs that I happen to have for sale over there and was kind of confused at one of them. And I just realized that's one of my favorite songs. It usually goes over pretty well, and I wrote it myself. And, well, let me first ask, who here likes Eminem songs? Candy? <laughs> Not a lot of love here. Well, it's okay. I wrote my own Eminem song. It goes a little something like this. <clears throat> I think of a little. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I broke every single string on my guitar in the course of the performances. So, basically, this is like a daredevil act, and you want to see is he going to break another string today? <laughs> okay, here we go. My Eminem song. Well, I like the brown ones, and I like the green ones. The red, the yellow, and the blue. Well, I love those Eminems, I'm gonna eat them till the end. Well, I love those M&M's, and I love you. 
Well, I love those M&Ms, I'm gonna eat them till the end. Well, I love those M&Ms all through and through. Be they peanut or they plain, whatever be they name, you know that they're almost as sweet as you, all right. I'm gonna eat them to the end. Well, I love those M&Ms all through and through. Be they peanut or they plain, whatever be they name, you know they are almost as sweet as you in bad French. Je les aime en rond, je les aime en vert, et le rouge, et le jaune, et en bleu. Je les aime ces M&Ms, je vais le manger jusqu'au bout. Je les aime ces M&Ms, je t'aime beaucoup, all right. Les éléphants ont roulé. Well, I love those M&Ms, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat them to the end, all right. I love those M&Ms, all through and through. Oh, be they peanut or they plain or yeah, whatever, be they whatever, 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 whatever. You know they're almost as sweet as you, yeah. I like, I like, I like the brown ones, and I like the green ones. The red, the yellow, and the blue. Well, I love those M&Ms, I swear I'm gonna eat them till the end. Oh, yeah, well, I love those M&Ms, and I love you. Okay, thank you. All right, and now I'm just gonna slow this down a little. This this is actually by a guy named Dave Alvin, who is very much a part of California, and he sings very good songs. Just look him up. I highly recommend him. He was highly influential on me. Born by a river, but it was paved with cement. I was born by a river, and it was paved with cement. Well, I stood in that dry river until my feet were soaked and wet. Someday it's gonna rain. Someday it's gonna pour Someday that old dry riverbed Well, it won't be dry anymore I used to play in the orange groves Till they pulled those old trees I used to play in the orange groves Till they cut down all the trees Now I stand on the stumps and smell the blossoms in peace. Someday it's gonna rain. Someday it's gonna pour. Someday those old orange trees, well they're gonna grow again. Someday it's 
several hats over here. These I have gathered through my travels around here. Now, whenever I wear this hat or my Union Great Coat or anything else around town, um, I discover something. There's a lot of people out there that don't realize that there were actually two armies in the Civil War. And more, that one of those armies actually won the damn thing. <laughs> Well, bring the good old bugle boys, we'll sing another song. Sing it with the spirit that will start the world along. Sing it as we did together, 50,000 strong, while we go marching through Georgia. Hurrah, hurrah, we bring the truth. How the turkeys gobbled that the commissary found Gobble, 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 even though sweet potatoes were starting from the ground ha! While we were marching through Georgia Hurrah, hurrah, we bring the jubilee Hurrah, hurrah, the flag makes you free So we sang chorus from Atlanta to the sea While we were marching through Georgia Oh yes, and there were Union men who shed a grateful tear When they saw that honored flag they had not seen for years Hardly could they be restrained from breaking out in cheers While we were marching through Georgia Hurrah, hurrah, we bring you to the lead Hurrah, hurrah, the flag that sets you free So we sang chorus from Atlanta to the sea While we were marching through Georgia. Oh, Sherman's dashing Yankee boys will never reach the coast. So those saucy rebels said it was a handsome boast. Had they not forgot a last to reckon with the host while we were marching through Georgia. So, yep, yep, that's one string. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be the one that's going to ruin the sound, so we're just going to go with it. <laughs> now, uh, about a century after that song was, was uh, after the events that inspired that song, somebody else figured that the way technology is going, if they were going to write a so if if there was going to be any songs for the next war, we gotta get, better get started writing them now. Yeah. So, with thanks to Tom Lair. Ooh. Yay! Okay, I do it this way, right? So long, Mom. I'm off to drop the ball, but don't wait up for me. 
although you may shelter down there in your shelter, you can see me on your TV while we're attacking frontally. Watch Brinkley and Huntley describing contrapuntally the cities we have lost. No need for you to miss a minute of the agonizing Holocaust. Is there anyone here I have to explain who Brinkley and Huntley were? Okay, well now, little Johnny Jones, he was a U.S. pilot, and no shrinking violet was he. Well, he was very proud when World War III was declared. He was not scared, no siree. And this is what he said on his way to Armageddon. So long, Mom, I'm off to jump the bomb, but don't wait up for me. Although I may roam, I will soon be home. Although it may be a pile of debris, just remember, mommy, that I won't kill a commie. So send me a salami and try to smell some hell. I'll be back home when World War Three is over. An hour and a half from now. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, but that the war hasn't happened yet, so you know. God. All right, so let's enough of the enough of the strange love. All right, but let's just go to uh, um, uh, a little forward in technology and a little backwards in time, and we got a little thing that I like to call the Death Star Repairman. You see, he's that fellow who you know. He's these are the guys who got a. They gotta spackle in all those highly accurate blast points that the stormtroopers are shooting in the walls. These are the folks who gotta recalibrate the garbage mashers on the detention level. These are the folks who gotta repair the controls to extend the bridge because somebody blasted them. I mean, come on, these guys deserve to have a few songs sung, sung for them, by them, and about them. And I invite you to sing this one with one. Are we off key or do we care? That string's not there. <laughs> oh, okay. Close enough, it's folk music. Uh, <laughs> we built the Death Star. We built this station. From the exhaust port to the giant laser. Oh, from the docking bay to the garbage mashers. This thing was built for you by me. The rebel princess, she was escaping. The rebels running, stormtroopers chasing. Somebody shut down all the garbage mashers. And that had to be fixed for you by me. We built the Death Star, we built this station. From the exhaust port to the giant laser. Oh, from the ducking bay to the garbage mashers. But this thing was built for you by me. Well, the X-Wings flying, the TIE Fighters diving, the Grand Moth plotting, and the Sith Lord stalking. They should have installed tighter defensive screens, but that was not paid for you by me. We built the Death Star. We built the station from the exhaust port to the giant laser. Oh, from the ducking bay to the garbage mashers. But this thing was built for you by me. for completion by next Thursday, but they did not approve any of my overtime, so completion is not guaranteed. Here we go. We built a Death Star, we built a station, from the exhaust port to the giant laser, oh, from the ducking bay to the garbage mashers, this thing was built for you by me.
Thank you. Red one, red two, red three, red four, red six, red seven, red five. Fly men, shoot them up, shoot them out, blow them up, blow them out, fly them out. Red five, key change. Bum bada 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 bum bada. Flying, flying, flying. No tie fighters are diving. Keep those X ones flying. Red five. Though you have lost R2, it's still the force to turn to. Rogue squadron's gonna fight and die. Just like hitting Womp Rats with the laser ball bat. Now let's go blow the Death Star from the sky. Flying, 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 Red Five! Red Five! There you go. But now be a good time to plug your merchandise. <laughs> oh yes, yes. While I'm while I'm wrestling with tuning this.